Brad, do the intro. What? Why are we going again? Bruno, what? Something steel. Today we are going to Bruno Steele's house. He was a he was an architect or is an architect, and he built a house southeast of Lubbock. And the house looks pretty freaking cool, and apparently it's abandoned. Oh, well, not apparently it is abandoned. Ah, gay, 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 gay. Sure is hot in here. What? <laughs> Let's see what's going on. We'll put on the useless e brake just in case. Let's go check it out. What's his name? Robert, uh, Robert Bruno. Bruno yeah. I was hoping that they'd have like a plaque or something. This is really cool. come back when we know that it's open. But this is definitely really cool. It's kind of a little bit different than what I'm usually exploring, you know, something a little bit more, you know, legal. But you don't ever see houses like this, and this is crazy. Crazy, strange. <laughs> Dang, I was hoping you'd slip for the vlog. For the vlog. I didn't know that was there. So, y'all may have seen it when we were driving up, but that house looks like it's a sand castle or something like that. It's something weird. This place is cool. Lighter in the semester as you go. Not for sure. I kind of want to know though. You could probably look it up. So this is all steel. I mean, in case you didn't realize that from the name. Bruno Steel used steel pallets to construct this whole house. But uh, from what I can understand is that he never really finished it. And uh, I think they had...
had probably some kind of organization take over. <laughs> they probably had some kind of organization take over and they finished it. It looks pretty good now, but from one of the pictures that I've seen of it, the uh, one of the windows was busted out and when I looked into it, the same window was fixed here, so maybe they did some renovation or something like that. It's kind of weird. I see vents in there, like air conditioning. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, this is quite the full. Yeah, I didn't realize it. Into that cactus. Anyway, there's the house, guys. Bruno Steel House. I'll probably put some information in the description so that we can, so y'all can know a little bit about it if y'all are interested. This is crazy. So, so like big. I didn't think it would be this big, honestly. Did you ever get the chance to visit the, was it Ransom Canyon? Yes. Ransom Canyon part. It's uh, just it's uh, Canyon. east, like east of Lubbock. Yeah, it's southeast. Southeast of Lubbock, and that's where this house is. And I didn't actually know that this was here until I saw one of my followers on Instagram. He posted a picture here. <laughs> also guys, we just noticed that the house over there looks like it's about to fall into the cliff. I don't know. That is kind of interesting. Yeah, basically like a suburb right next to this house. And so, you can definitely tell it was built here before the these other houses. 